when you have selected the site for our design what you do at the first so once you have finalized the trial alignments and everything as i told you in highway design lectures what you do is you are going to survey that area a survey will be a surveyor will be going to that site and see if he or she will be surveying in that area we call it for a for we call it a doing a topo survey the surveyor will get the features in that area as well as the elevations in by the means of points so the surveyor goes there and taking elevations as points and also he is taking the uh, objects or features in that area so the surveyor will give you give us the point file where we have the elevations then we can use that elevations to create a civil 3d model the civil 3 the points will be used to create the civil 3d model what we called a surface that is the ground surface of that area where the surveyor has surveyed so on that ground we will be creating a new road so i hope all of you have this drawing open by now without closing from the previous video so this drawing is open using the new road template which i has have done in the earlier video so now what i am going to do is import points into this drawing so to do that you have to go to home tab then you have something called points here you click this drop down you go to point creation tools then small bar will be appearing you can drag it here then you click this button import points button then another small window will be appearing that is import points window then here you can select the files you click this plus sign then you go to your desktop in my case that is my desktop where the data are saved so i go to ce760 folder and go to data folder and make sure your file type is csv this type csv then you will see inside this data folder inside this civil 3d data folder topo survey points you click this point click this excel file this kind of excel file and click open so in sri lanka the surveyors are usually doing the surveyors surveying with a file format called pnezd that means point number for p n means northing e means easting p n e z means the elevation d means the description so you have to specify the point file format so you have to go down here you will see p n e z d comma d limited option then you will you have to select that one then you will see i am dragging here to enlarge the window so you will see the point numbers northing easting point elevation and description in these points so the, these are the points in this drawing even though you have small number of points here it is only a preview so you have so many points inside this file so if the file is uh, successfully imported you will see a green check mark here then you have to put a check here at points to point group then you click this to give a name for the point group we are importing we say topo survey points then we click okay so we will uncheck this option uncheck the both of these options and we click okay 
so your point file will be imported to your civil 3d but you will not see anything at the first place because you cannot you it is imported to a location where we can't see in this screen first i will close this uh, toolbar then i will uh, double click my mouse wheel you should have a mouse with a mouse wheel to do civil 3d or autocad work otherwise it is very hard to work with civil 3d autocad based softwares so definitely you should have a mouse with a mouse wheel so what you have to do is you have to double click the mouse wheel the middle button you have to double click the mouse wheel then you will see the points are appearing inside this drawing if we zoom in here you can see the point detail this is the point number this is the elevation and this is the description te means ta edge the existing edge of a road so if we come here this is the center line of a road likewise you have so many points you have some kind of uh, this might be a boundary wall so these uh, descriptions survey point descriptions will be given to you by the survey here you have touch points this is telephone post likewise you have so many points which is which are taken by the surveyor so we have imported the points into our drawing now we are going to save this drawing with a name to do that i am clicking save here save option here otherwise you can go to application menu browser and click save then i am going to my desktop and go into this file and not in the data folder outside the data folder i will save my drawing as points imported then i click save so up to this point we have we have imported civil 3d points into the civil 3d drawing in the next video we will be discussing something called extra something called external reference so we will be looking at that in the next video please don't please don't close the drawing so you can work with the with this drawing in the next video also